Hi everybody, it is the 4th of May 2022 when I'm recording this video anyway, and uh, I thought it was high time that I updated my how to install the DAISY expansion mod on your remote community private server off in the web somewhere. Um, I have done previous videos about these, um, but this is the updated one, mainly because the great team over at the DAISY expansion mod have made it considerably easier to install the DAISY expansion mod. Now, this diagram looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. The way the expansion used to work is you used to have lots of different modules that you would install. Um, and you can still do that if you want, but you can install it this way, where all you need to install is Community Framework, Dabs Framework, Expansion License, Expansion Bundle, and Expansion expansion Bundle includes all this cool stuff, so the trader and the guns and, and all that sort of stuff. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Um, with optional stuff being Community Online Tools, Community Online Tools is the administration part. So this is the thing that allows you to teleport around the map, spawn things in, control um, vehicles and, and that sort of stuff. Um, this is, uh, Daisy Expansion is compatible with Zomberry as well. So I would probably lean towards using Zombri. Now Zombri isn't as powerful, but it's a bit simpler. Um, so, but you know, you can do it whichever way you want. Also, this page that I'm on at the moment, I will link to this in the description below the video. It will probably be the top link because this is a comprehensive guide on how to install Daisy expansion mod on your server. So all you need to do is if you find me a little bit confusing, just follow this step-by-step -step guide. Also, Salutesh has an amazing, I think this is the official Daisy expansion uh, tutorial as well, where he goes through everything about how to install it, how to configure the mod, um, how to uh, become an admin on community online tools, all that sort of stuff. So, of course, I will link to those. Um, and also, kind of before we get into the meat and potatoes, I, can't, I, I don't really often tell people that you should really, really do this. But in this case, you should really, really do this. So I highly think that if you want to start um, messing around with Daisy expansion, you really should be running a local server on your local PC um, that you can then install Daisy expansion on because there's so many elements to Daisy expansion. There's, it's so powerful in terms of what you can do to, to the main game that you don't want to be messing around with it um, on a remote server. You want to get everything locked down on your local PC server and then basically export those changes up until, up, up until your remote server. So again, in the description below this video, you'll see a link to my <laughs> video that I've just done about how to install Daisy expansion mod and its dependencies to a local PC server. And within that video, there's a link to another video that tells you how to install a local PC server. So I guess what I'm saying is, if you want to put Daisy expansion on your remote server, first thing you want to do is install a local server on your local PC, get that working, then get expansion working on it, and then install it on your on your remote server. Um, because, yeah, there's lots of things that can go wrong, lots of things you've got to keep an eye on, and if you can get it working on a local server, you'll find things much, much easier. Another really important thing to um, bear in mind is at the moment, as of the time I'm recording this video, the expansion team recommend wiping your server when you install DAISY expansion. Now, that may well change, so keep an eye on the Steam page, um, and especially in the change notes and on their Discord about whether that changes or not. Um, so that it's worth bearing that in mind that when you go to install it, you, you'll want to be telling the people on your server, look, we're, we're upgrading our server to Daisy expansion. Unfortunately, that does mean we're going to have to do a wipe. Um, and then you, then you go on from there. So that will you know get rid of their characters, get rid of their bases, all their progression, that sort of thing. But it's definitely worth it for the extras that you get. Now, the, the, um, the, the concept behind this video is that you've already installed Daisy expansion on a local server on your PC. Okay, so you've already done that. So within on your computer, gosh, I've got a lot of things open here, haven't I? Uh, you will have 
a folder where you have Daisy and you'll have a Daisy server on it. And within Daisy server, you, you will have installed the expansion. So the files that you were meant to have changed, you would have already changed and you've kept them up to date. Um, because that's how we're going to kind of be basing some of the things we have to upload um, uh, to, to do this uh, do this tutorial. So where do you start? Well, first thing, of course, you start in Steam. So log into Steam with the Steam client or on the web and you'll want to subscribe to Daisy Expansion, uh, Daisy Expansion Licensed, uh, Community Framework, Dabs Framework, um, Community Online Tools, that's optional, Daisy Expansion Core, I think, I think that's everything. So subscribe to those, and then what will happen is, when you fire up Daisy, it will auto fire up the Daisy Launcher, it will automatically download all those mods, okay? So those mods will already have downloaded. And then the next step is really quite simple. Just fire up your FTP program. So in this case, I'm using um, FileZilla. Um, contact your... Ooh. Go to the correct site. There we go. And then we need to upload the mods. So go into the DAISY standalone. So that's that directory that's underneath there. And then what you want to go into is you want to find the DAISY server on your computer. Um, if you're not sure where it is, if you go into the Daisy Launcher, click on the three dots there, open folder in Windows Explorer, then click in the address bar here, left click and it will give you the sort of direct address. You can right click, copy, go back to FileZilla, paste that in there. That will then take you there, so there's the workshop. And so this is where... Um, this is where Daisy downloads all the mods from. So this is what you then do is you then upload all of these to your server. So you just go down, you look for them and go, okay, so we've got, um, oop, so community framework, we would right click upload, community online tools, we'd right click upload. I've already done it, so I'm not doing it again. Uh, Dabs framework, right click upload. Daisy expansion bundle, upload. Daisy expansion licensed, upload. And that is it. And then you'll end up with these up on your server. So we've got all the add-ons, we've got all the mods here. The next thing, and this is the thing where people make the mistake the most, is where they forget to um, do the keys. So click on the keys folder on the right in your folder, in your server, and these are all the keys. And then within each mod, you'll find a keys folder. So if we go to CF, Community Framework, see there's a keys folder which is down here. So you right click that, upload. I mean, it's already there. And you do that for every single mod. Keys, and you right click, upload. Dabs Framework, keys, right click, upload. Daisy Expansion, keys, right click, upload. Daisy Expansion, light on keys, right click, upload. You get the idea. If at the end of this you start up your server and you go to join it and people are getting errors that say something like um, a client has a mod that isn't on the server or client has a PBO that isn't on the server, chances are you won't have put the keys in um, correctly or the keys may well have been updated at some point when there's been an update to the mod. Um, it's, a, it's a real common problem because we get everything else done and then we forget to do this. So once you've done that and you've got the keys uh, installed, oh, I should have said you've stopped your server as well. <laughs> Don't do this with your server running. So once you've done that, what we need to do is we now need to alter the um, the batch file, the start file. Now, I'm using Nitrado as an example for this. So with Nitrado, if you go to your PC server and then you go to the uh, general settings, you'll have the additional mods. So these are the these are the bits that are telling the server what mods to start off with. And what you want to do is if you go to that instruction page that I told you about before, if you scroll down, you'll see here they very handily have a list of all the mods. So all you need to do is left click and copy all of that. Oop, if I could do it all. Like so, right click, copy. And all we need to do is paste that in that. So that's all the mods that the, the thing is gonna start with and we can save that. Now it could be 
that on your particular server you have access to the batch file. So if that's the case, go into your uh, batch file, which will probably look something like this, and we'll have a start line parameter like this. And then what you're looking for is you're looking for that mod line. There we go. And you copy that same thing into there. You'll notice I've also got Zombri admin tools because I use Zombri admin tools as well. And then you would save that. So that's that's your batch file. Also, you'll want to go into your advanced settings, depending on the, the server provider you're using, and make sure, for example, in this case, we're using Chernerus Plus as the map. So make sure you make sure you, you save that. So now what we've got, we've got the mods in place, we've got the keys in place, we've altered our batch file so the, the server is going to start with the right mods. What's important now is we now need to alter the missions. And again, if we go back to here, if you scroll down, it then tells you how to do the missions. And what you do is you just follow that link and you'll get to this page here. Um, and this page has the missions in. So just click on the um, right right click on the code button and download the zip and then go to your downloads and in your downloads you'll have a daisy expansion missions master so just extract that or unzip that and you'll end up with this folder here and what you want to do is just you want to open up the readme tutorial and this tells you line by line what you need to do in terms of adding the mission. So when we say adding the missions, um, this doesn't mean that there's a complete separate like map mission folder for, for the expansion. What they've done is they've added it on in terms of little snippets that we tell the game to read. So if we read it, it says step one from the template, copy the expansion CE folder and paste it into your, inside your mission. Now remember at the start of this video, I said the first thing you should do is you should get uh, Daisy uh, expansion mod working on your local server. Um, the reason is that if you do, this slot becomes much, much easier. Um, because now what we can do is if we go back to FileZilla, and on the left-hand side, if I come away from the workshop and I open up my server, like so, and now I open up my missions folder for Chernerus, and then we do the same on the right hand side on my server. And we go into Chernerus. So the files we want to upload are, uh, sorry, the directories are expansion. So we upload that one. As you can see, I've already done it. And expansion underscore CE. Upload that one. And then if we go back to the README, you'll see that the one we need to upload the CFG economy core because we've edited that in order to get this working on our local server. If you haven't done the local server bit, then you can just follow the instructions and see how to do it. Um, so now we go. So we know we now we need uh, CFG economy core. So if we just scroll down in the bottom here, we can go to CFG economy core. So we'd right click upload that. And then we've got CFG event spawns. That's the other one we would have edited um, as part of uh, getting the local server to work. So we just go to CFG event spawns. So we'd right click upload that. I mean, I've, uh, sorry, we're in the wrong folder on the right hand side. I do apologize. There we go. That's where we should have been. So we would have uploaded CFG event spawns to that and CFG uh, environment uh, to that one so they're in there and then we need to install uh, upload the expansion the expansion CE so expansion and expansion CE so right click upload right click upload to that one and then if we go back to the instructions we are basically we are basically done that's how easy it is now to install daisy expansion um, We've uploaded the mods, we've added the uh, start instructions, we've added the keys, we've added the missions, and, and we're ready to go. So what you would do now, before you start it, this is the bit where you need to delete your um, the data. So in order to wipe the server, see the storage folder there, you would right click and you would delete that. And then you would go to your 
host and you would then restart the server that would then restart it would regenerate um, the data folder and every so everybody would start on the beach again now when you're trying to do this when you're trying to install um, expansion it still can be a little bit challenging and a little bit buggy so when you start it up the first time, you'll probably find you won't be able to connect to it. You'll, you know, you'll go into the Daisy launcher and you'll try and connect to it and, it and it won't work. If that happens, don't worry. Just restart the server again and give it another go. If you're getting any of those PBO errors or any of those mod errors, again, just go back and check your uh, keys are all in the right place. If um, you get in some other errors as well. If you go to the Steam page, again, the link's in the description below the video, there's a nice troubleshooting guide here that tells you about things to look out for. Um, and again, if you go to Salutesh's page, um, well, I say it's more than the page, it's a whole wiki on how to install Daisy, there's more troubleshooting um, uh, help here as well, um, including how to do things like how to um, give, make yourself an admin in community online tools. Um, and you should find it works. What I found in my experience is that a cup after a couple of server restarts, it will work. Now, the only other thing that I've mentioned as well is that sometimes you'll find that the server might crash, as it will with any heavily modded server, and you also might have trouble with people connecting it to it every now and again. And when you get those, just restart the server, and that seems to sort things out. Because remember, Daisy expansion, you get so much with it. This is such a complicated mod. There's so much good stuff in it that, you know, there is going to be a trade-off in terms of reliability. Um, and they're the things that happens. But trust me when I say that it is much, much simpler, and much, much easier, and much, much more reliable to use now than it has ever been. I'm very excited about Daisy Expansion. So I'm going to be doing plenty of videos about how to configure it and um, play around with the traders and the supply drops and all that sort of stuff. So there we go, my friends. That is how you install Daisy Expansion on your remote server. I hope you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.